the red, blue, near-infrared, and mid-infrared, or 4 out of 36 spectral bands captured by the Moderate Resolution Imaging Spectral Radiometer, or MODIS sensor aboard the NASA Terra and AQUAS satellites. Produced at various temporal resolutions, ranging from 250 meters to 1,000 meters, the bands help monitor changes in vegetation, soil, and atmosphere that can influence the calculation of ecosystem variables like vegetation indices. The electromagnetic spectrum, or EMS, on which these spectral bands live, is divided into seven regions containing various wavelengths, frequencies, and energies that allow us to see, hear, and feel the matter around us. The regions of focus for the MODIS reflectance products are the visible and the infrared. The red band, located in the visible region, is highly correlated with plant growth and is an important variable in the calculation of both the enhanced and normalized difference vegetation index. In order to photosynthesize and grow, plants absorb different colors of light. Red light is the primary energy source that plants absorb from maturing, flowering, and seeding. The blue band, the shortest and noisiest band in the visible range, is used to monitor atmospheric events, like smoke, dust, and other dry particles that travel across the globe. Although plants also absorb blue light, this band is useful in eliminating atmospheric noise in the calculation of the enhanced vegetation index. Moving along the spectrum, we come to the near-infrared band, which like the red band, is an important variable in the calculation of the two vegetation indices produced by MODIS. The near-infrared band is used to visualize land and water. Water bodies absorb nearly all near-infrared radiation, while land reflects it. The land's reflection of this radiation is useful when monitoring vegetation conditions. Since vegetation uses red and blue energy to grow and prosper, the near-infrared band becomes an indicator of vegetation health. When plants are healthy, they reflect more near-infrared light than plants that are unhealthy. The next band is the mid-infrared. Although excluded in the calculation of the vegetation indices, the band is used to determine cloud properties in addition to various land properties like vegetation and soil moisture. Areas where vegetation is scarce tend to reflect more mid-infrared radiation, whereas areas where vegetation is moderate or abundant tend to absorb more. The full-time and monthly averages for the red, blue, near-infrared, and mid-infrared were constructed and processed at 250-meter resolution by the Africa Soil Information Service. The original MODIS imagery was provided by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, hosted by the International Research Institute for Climate and Society. The grids have been made publicly available for download on the AFSIS website at africasoils.net.